Here you go now, fellas. Here we go. Something from these guys. Oh, yeah, they've changed their name. CBC. Yeah. So, New England Pale Ale. Hazy. Did someone say goody or hazy? 5.5%. A New England style pale ale with juicy fruit forward flavour from a trio of citrus strata and galaxy hops. Sounds better than I thought. Whoa, we lost that. I knew that was going to happen. That was going to happen every minute. Colonial. You can't say colonial anymore. Cheers, guys. Old colonial boy. But you a few older Aussie blokes would have learnt that song. Or was it a poem? Old colonial boy, it wasn't. Yeah, one of those ones in primary school. The beer, passion fruit, delicious, very fresh flavoured, <coughs> first for beer for the day, funny colour, can. I'm going to film it back up the other way, Frank said he didn't know how long the whole back out here was. It's like a bloody big room, I tell you. The mess is filling it up with stuff. Lots of plants. They're yeah, alright. That's a nice beer, guys. I don't want to be paying six bucks each, though. That's how much they charge in now for these sort of beers. A lot of companies going under, too. Not have been bought out. These guys bought out, I think they were, weren't they? No. Proudly independent. Good on you boys. Stay the distance. Been knocking on tax man been knocking on all their doors lately. Shutting them all down one after another or trying to. Well, travel story. It's with Julian driving around the big island, Hawaii. And um, we drove up the top of Mona Kea. I think I've mentioned that a few times in this Mustang convertible. But driving around the island, we're having a race with a local in his car. And he knew the roads, I didn't. Oh, it's about 120, 30 mile an hour. Big open stretches. Next minute, he slows down. i got to overtake him. And he turns in front of me. He's got the indicator brake light that's so faded. It's that old from the sun. You can never see it. And, yeah, I... Hit the brakes, the car locked up. There was none of that anti lock, anti skid lock system on the brakes back then. And we're gonna die. And in, in a millisecond, I let my foot off the brake. I drove around him and I missed him by about half an inch, I reckon. Doing about 120 mile an hour. Probably slowed down 10. Yeah, so I had plenty of those times. One, once was with Graham and Colin, my mate, from Melbourne. Graham from Canada. And we're in a four-wheel drive with pretty shit tyres. Big mistake in Koh Samui in the wet. 
and we went over the top of this hill a bit quick uh, it's a big steep road going down to this big rock hanging out on this huge corner and there was like sheets of water across the water it was raining pretty heavy road design probably wasn't the best and I've hit the brakes and the things just got quicker just that aquaplane and went a bit sideways I had to pull it together and use the gears and hit the brakes as hard as I could without locking it up and oh, got to the corner and we're going that quick we just got around the corner like two miles an hour fast we would have rolled or crashed unreal so yeah I've nearly died so many times like that a few times driving driving myself driving myself crazy a few times other people driving it's not a good thing especially when you know they're going to crash and you tell them to slow down they go it's all right and next minute you crash at 120 k's an hour you both should be dead but somehow you walk away yeah it's a miracle you know there's this irish bloke up in up in sydney in an old XB, and he didn't know how to operate the, well, he thought he did, that was what was wrong, he didn't know how to get the demister to work on the front, you know what the old XBs were like, had to warm up before that would start working properly, anyway, down this big hill, told him to slow down, pissing down with rain, car coming up around this other corner, he slowed down a little bit, just luckily and we just missed this car and then we went up this embankment we went about no bullshit 10 15 meters in the air all right probably eight meters and hit a power pole about mid way up the power pole up this embankment and somehow we didn't keep going over the embankment the power pole stopped us we would have died if the power pole wasn't there. Oh, it was just bullshit. Had to climb down and then walk off to the pub and had a couple of straight whiskies. Seatbelt nearly cut me in half. I remember that. I had sore guts for about three months. And, uh, my mate Laurie reckons he was driving through Sydney and saw that bloody thing up there. He goes, how the fuck did that get up there? I don't know how we got up there. We should have died. But anyway, just keep walking, I reckon. Well, guys, that's the CBC Little O, hazy, hazy New England, happy days. Cheers, guys.